Hello, it's Adam from Bricks S Studios, and today we are doing a review of 10260 Downtown Diner. This set's got 2,480 pieces, which is pretty, pretty big. So it's a pretty big set. Probably it's going to be the biggest set we've I've reviewed on the channel now, beating out the UCS Y Wing. That's only got 1,967, I believe. But this box is already opened because I've actually built it. I couldn't wait to build it, so I just opened it. So, here's the box. I'm just going to give a quick overview of it. It's got the Creator Expert logo here. It's got some little designs, like the the how long it is and how tall it is. And it's got all the minifigures displayed and everything. But let's take the box away and actually look at the modular. It's pretty big. There we go. Now the diner sign and then the car. Here it is, the downtown diner. Very, very big, it hardly fits into the camera frame. I might have to change that. Uh, we have six minifigures in this set, so I'll show you them right now. So here are our first two minifigures from the first floor, the diner part of the set. We've got the um chef here and the waitress here these two minifigures are awesome uh, so let's take a look at the chef first the chef comes with a saucepan then I've put the little pancake piece on I think it's supposed to be a pancake it's not supposed to go on there, that's the saucepan, that's the piece I just put it in there to look cool but he is very very awesome uh, let's move on to the waitress's accessory she is holding a little wa waiter plate thingy with a um, smoothie or shake, milkshake on it, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at these guys' uh, faces. So this guy's got a nice beard all around his face with some pretty a calm look. The waitress has got quite a happy look. Their torsos are pretty cool. I like the chef's one. Very detailed, well not very detailed, but very nice and plain. They actually both have uh, red sort of tie things here and here, but this the the chef's got a chef jacket, of course, and the waitress has got a a um, a nice t-shirt on, nice stripe stripy blue and white t-shirt. The legs they're just plain. The waitress has got nice turquoise, maybe aqua coloured ones. I like them very much, and the chef's got normal brown ones. But on her feet, the waitress has roller skate pieces. So they're very, very cool. If we turn them around back, the same design is followed quite a lot. There's a striped t-shirt on the chefs. They both got their tie sort of thing. But if we take off the headpieces, the chef's got a nice little chef's hat sort of thing. And the waitress has a very, very nice hair piece. I like that very much. They have no second faces. None of the minifigures have second faces except one. There's only one of them, which we're going to look at in a minute. But that was the two people from the bottom floor. Let's move on to the two people from the first floor. So here are our two minifigures from the second floor. The second floor is a gym, so these guys are very gym clothy and stuff. But we have a lady gym worker outer and a male gym worker outer. I'm not sure how to call them, I just call them worker outers. I don't think that's a real word, but I'm just going to go with it for this this review. Um, I love this guy's hairpiece, I think it's really awesome. Um, and she's got a nice blonde hairpiece as well. But their faces are very, very cool. This guy's got a lovely, lovely moustache. Loving that. And this guy, the lady, has a very plain face. Their torsos, he's got some very muscly abs, very strong. And she's got a, uh, a green hoodie on. The arms on the boxer are different. He's got boxing gloves. They're his hands. They can't be taken off. So they're his hands. And they're hanging really cool. Their legs. Plain lime green. This guy's got jewel moulded. Blue shorts. And yellow legs, of course. Um, so that's them. Turn them around. As we know, there's no second face prints. Oh, wait, no. I believe this lady has one, she does. It's a sweating one. Wait, let me let that focus. 
No, not focusing. Nope, there we go, done. Very sweaty, very sweaty. Um, I'll see if this guy has one. Nope, he doesn't have one at all. Uh, but they carry the same sort of um, look on the back. This guy's got nothing, she's got a black hoodie, and the jewel moulding carries around in the plain um, green carries around. That's our two gym worker outers. I don't know how to say it. But now we move on to our two final minifigures. One of them from the first, nope, the second floor. And one of them just randomly on the sidewalk. So here are our two figures from the second floor and the ground floor. This guy's on the sidewalk walking around. Uh, they've, got, they've both got accessories. This lady has a camera with a stud on it, which will represent the lens. And this guy has a guitar. I fell mad. Um, guitar. Red, nice guitar. Very, very cool. Um, this guy's got two faces, and this one's a... Uh, I don't really know what he's trying to do. I think he's singing or playing the guitar. Uh, this lady's got a, like, she looks like a news reporter, if I'm honest, with the, the suit jacket thing on. She looks like a very business lady. I don't know. But she's got a very calm face print. And she's got a nice hairpiece. This guy's got a nice hairpiece. Looks a bit like Elvis's hair, hair, sort of. Not really, but like, sort of. May as well take him off. Because uh, this guy's got double, so we'll look at that in a minute. But I love this guy's torso. He has got an awesome one. It's got a little sparkle on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that, no, you probably can't. It won't be in focus. He's got tons of little sparkle things on it, and he's got a nice pink under underneath shirt. I love that torso. It's so cool, like for a party mini vigor. I wish they just made his uh, legs corresponding out. That would be awesome. That would be so, so cool. And I would pay so much to get that. That'd be awesome. And she's got some plain purple legs. Purple's a not good colour. One of my favourites. I actually got purple M&Ms at the M&M World in London when I went. Literally, the M&M World was literally opposite the Lego store. It's quite cool. Oh, they both have second faces. Oh my god, I didn't even realise. <laughs> this guy's got um, a very smirk look and she's got a more concerned look. The jacket's uh, carried on here and the sparkles, I think you might be able to see them, are carried on here. That was our final two minifigures. Um, we're going to have a look at the side build. Not really a side build. It uh, kind of is. It's the car. The car that comes with the set. The pink Cadillac. So, here is the pink Cadillac. Very nice design. Looks straight out of 1950s America, if I'm honest. Very, very cool. like the design of this. It actually came in bag five. It's the last bag of the set. Um, I, was, I, I was expecting it would come in bag one, but it didn't. Uh, the minifigure that I believe has to, what goes in this car, is our musician man. So I'll just change his face around. And put, plop him in. It's not really like a normal Lego car. If I bring it up to, to the camera. It uses these um, modified 1x2s with a stun net, and that's how it sits the minifigure. It sits them half in sort of thing. Like pretty, pretty like cool, but kind of odd at the same time. Also, the back seats use a, I think a 1x2 to add that. That's where his guitar goes in the back. The car's got space for two minifigures, and of course, both doors open. There we go. Uh, inside the car there's a little handbrake here in the little joystick and the little steering wheel. That's basically all the play features with this. But I love the design of this. It's very, very nice. The, uh, the rear especially with the lights and stuff and the curves. Very, very nice as well. The front's also cool. Um, this plate, this, uh, I'll take the bonnet off quick and I'll show you. There we go. So the headlights are made by using, wait, wait a minute, let me just get them off to show you because it's pretty cool the way how they're made. They use these pieces, so the ones with like, the hole through them, that's how they make the headlights, 
And I think that's really, really cool because it's a cool use of a piece that wouldn't, you wouldn't expect to use in that. Just to show that it can fit two minifigures, I'll put the other another minifigure in just to show that it can fit two, which it can very nicely. Also, of course, it's got the drivability, obviously, wheels, so brum brum, you can wheelie it, Wee! Pretty fun, pretty nice car design, I like it a lot. It actually takes up more pieces than you'd expect. There you go. That is the underneath. Pretty, pretty cool. Basically start by using this piece and then you add these two on and then it builds up from there. But uh, when you when you finish the roof in bag five, you, you look at the piece and you're like, does this really make up the car? Because it, it's a lot of pieces when looking at it visually. But I still think it's really, really good and a really good design. So props to the designer for making this car. Anyway. This is all the other little extra bits. Now we can have a look at the actual main build of the set. The downtown diner. So here we are and we've got the downtown diner in front of me. Oh wait, no, I need to fix that, don't I? So here is the first floor of the downtown diner. I've got you guys raised up just because then you can see the actual inside. We're going to do the interior, then we're going to do the exterior. So inside the downtown diner. There's some grills cooking some bacon here, uh, jukebox, there's some printed little star things here, uh, round here, coffee machine, drinks dispenser, got some bar stools, pretty pretty cool, uh, turn it around to the front, little candy machine, pretty really cool, and then on this side, got a seat, table with mustard, salt and pepper, ketchup, seat, and a seat which is kind of pointless because it faces the door. The kind of stupid Lego. I don't get why you've done that, but kind of stupid. Uh, may as well just do this. Seven stud uh, back. Pretty, pretty annoying because they could have made it bigger. But hey, what can you do? Um, that's that. It's got a little light here for the next floor, which we'll take a look at in a second. The diner sign is very, very nice comprised of two modules, so first foot is the D and the I, and then the last module is the N E R. Um, at the front there's a mailbox, parking meter, two pots of flowers and a cool lamppost. But also, the design of the window, that is so cool, with the curved area and the curved area here, it's just so clean, I love it so much. Also back here, we've got some stairs leading up to the next floor. And also just before we go, uh, I'll show you the, the modules here. So there's a gap between them, so it shows that. Oh, and also forgot the counter. Story about that, when I was building it, I was like, what is this? What's it going to do in like the, the diner? And then I put it in, and I was like, ah, it's the counter. Yeah, it's just, it's a pretty decent build. Also want to highlight something else, the colours. So there's like a dark pink here, dark uh pink. There's a pastel pink here with a little line running across it. And then there's the nice aqua aqua turquoise. I love that so much. The the colours mix so well. The white, the white, most around the building. Mixed in with the pink. Pink here and then the pink and and the blue. The blue as well. The blue brings out so much and it looks really cool. Now look, um, down here. Go. Blue. Pink. White. It looks so awesome. Love that. Love that so much. Really happy with the colour scheme for this set. And there's one thing I have to say before moving on. These printed bits and also that printed door. They're all printed. No stickers in this set. No stickers. Or at least there's no stickers when I emptied the box out. So, there's no stickers, which is really good because the printed elements are so much better. There's some more printed elements uh, in later floors, but yeah. This was the first floor, the diner section of the uh, building. We're now going to take a look at the gym. So here we have the second 
floor of the downtown diner. We're going to look at the exterior, then the interior. So let's do it. So you can see that the brick looks like a little brick built, but they're not really. They're just bits built, just little tiles put onto plates and then just stuck to that. Pretty, pretty simple. Effective, but simple. Uh, this side's got a little uh, air conditioning unit and some pipes. This one's got the door and and the spiral staircase. Oh, it's so good! It's so awesome! It's the coolest. It's the coolest part of the second floor, and it's almost the coolest part of the set. I don't know. It's it's just really awesome. The build was fantastic. I'll just take I'll take it off quick. Oh no, I'm gonna break it. No, I'm not gonna take it off. But anyway, um, the build's got the the little railings. There goes the weight. The railings go down, clip together, and then the um, sort of gate pieces, and they're all stuck together. It's flawless. And it was pretty difficult to build because I was like, this is a pretty advanced technique, and I I could see why it was marked as a 16 plus set. You need to be a pretty experienced builder, or above 16, to, to build it up. Yep. That's basically my exterior. This is a big window here with the uh, the blue and the pink here. Oh yes, there's also some windows as well at the back. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. That's basically the exterior. And that's all the interior. That's for the first little details. There's a little printed clock here. And that's about it for small details. There's also a water machine. I'll zoom in on that so you can see a little more. There we go. Pretty simple. There. I'll have a look at the weight unit. So a minifigure can basically hold on to it. So I'll plop it on. I can't really see that. There she is, the minifigure. Lay her down. It's pretty fiddly. But yeah, she fits on, so she can have a weight session or whatever. I don't know what people do. I don't go to the gym. Um, a little bit. There's mini weights. If it get, gets out, there we go. Mini one. These weights have to be balanced quite a lot. Right, turn the building around. There are these two little weights that um oh, I can't get this one in now. Pretty difficult to put some of them in when the walls are like they are. There we go. Hold on. So there's two little tiny weights. Pretty, pretty cool. So you can have a, a weight session where you do one left, two left, one left, two left. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, now we're on to the boxing area. Boxing arena. Pretty cool. You can get a boxing minifigure, and if you have another boxing minifigure they can have a, a, sh a box out, box off I actually do have a minifigure but it's in my collection somewhere I got one from the, the 2012 Olympics CMF series I got one um, ages ago when I was like 6 so yeah I can put one in there have a little pew 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 punch 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 uh, another section for boxers is the punch bag so it just moves around a little hinge and you can, you can boom, boom, punch it and stuff. But yeah, that's basically the uh, second floor. It's pretty, pretty cool. Simple, but cool. And I like it a lot. Now we're going to go on to the third and final floor and the roof. So, here we are looking at the roof and the final floor. As, I, as you guys already know, exterior before interior. Let's take a look at the roof first. Right, so we've got a pretty plain grey roof. There is a cool technique used here. It's um, these things, so they're almost put onto these hinges and they're clipped over sort of thing. I'm not sure how to explain it. If I can get one off, I'll show you. Like that. So, it's got one of these clips and you clip it over and like that. And it looks really effective. I'll bring you guys down in a minute to show you. But also this window opens. It's got a little hinge. Here it moves up and down and you can balance it like that. Pretty, pretty cool. A uh, big white dome just to correspond with the colour scheme. And there's a pylon and that sort of thing. Uh, the exterior, pretty plain walls, two windows on that side. 
a little balcony with a little uh, roof, uh, not a roof, a ladder up to the roof. Some small windows and flowers and the pipe carry onto the top and the pipe stop a thingy. Window, door leading to the little balcony as well. Uh, I'll zoom in on that. Got two plants. Boom boom. And here we got the uh, final little addition to the colour scheme. I love it. It looks so rounded off with the circle. I just love the colours so much and this set is such, such a nice colour scheme. Also, the walls are uh, the exact same technique used in the uh, second floor, so the clip-on ones, pretty simple. But yeah, the car it carries on the windows and the blue of the blue outside thingy. Taking off the roof, pretty cool little roof thingy, I don't know. Uh, we got sort of an apartment slash music studio. We'll take a look at the apartment first. So it has a red chair, pretty cool build, with a table next to it. Two carpets, one here, one here. On the wall here, there's a little CD. On the wall here, they're both printed by the way. On the wall here is a rock and roll poster. Here's two glasses and a bottle on the sideboard thingy. There's a clear door here, opens of course. Uh, background here is a control panel with a chair and a little unit thingy. And in here there's a little microphone I believe. With some muffling sort of thing to muffle the sound out. and I don't know. But yeah. That leads out to the window so you can see in from the window. The mic sort of thing. Like that. Overall this build is very very fun. I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys modulars. Um, especially, especially someone who likes 1950s America. Because this just reminds me of that so, so much. I don't know why. It's just the diner. And I don't know why, it just reminds me so, so much of it. Um, I'm just going to show you a little well, a section where I just piece them all together. So I'll take this away from you. And then we'll put the first four. I'm going to put the camera back quite a lot. I'm going to put that. And I'll put it as far back as I can. There we go. As far back as I can go. So, we're going to put... Second floor on. Pretty easy. So that's the second floor. And then there we go. Second floor on. No, third floor. Sorry. What am I saying? Third floor. There it is. The full downtown diner. A very, very good set. Oh, one more thing before we go. And manual. Manual is very big. A lot of steps. Overall, there is 195 pages and over like, I don't know, there's tons of steps. There's over, like, there's over like 230 steps, so quite a lot of this set. Uh, this set's very good, recommend it. It's good for the price, very good for the price. It's £130, it's got 2,408 pieces, so it's better value than the Stranger Things upside down set. That's 180 and has 2,228. This has got 200 more pieces, £50 less. Pretty good deal, so liking those deals. Uh, if you liked the modular, this this modular review, and you'd like to see more modulars, if you want to see more modulars, just comment down below, like the video, if you want to, and I'll see if I can get some more modulars for you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.